Hey there, Storm Chasers. Uh, somebody brought to my attention their interest in some of the add-ons that I've using that I've been using, especially uh, Tuck UI, which is what I've got pulled up here. I made a brand new character in, in the game right now just to show uh, what it's like, and, you know, what you got to do, you know, how to install it, and then how to customize some of your options. So I just made a brand new character, you know, to start from scratch, and uh, we're going to show you how to wor work with it today. Now, don't don't worry about tell me when and all that. I'll do those in separate videos. That's if you like. But so far, somebody's just been stating their interest in my Tuck UI interface add-on, which you can get f from the website that I will put in the description below the below this video. So uh, sit back and enjoy this little tutorial. Okay, so we're going to kick it off right here. So where you get the little thank you for choosing choosing Tuck UI, you'll be guided through the installation process in a few simple steps. At each step, you can decide whether or not you want to apply or skip the presented settings. So now we're just going to go click next. First step applies to essential settings. This is recommended for any user unless you want to apply only a specific part of your settings of the settings. Click apply to apply the settings next to continue the install process. If you wish to skip the step, please just press next. So you just click apply there as it says. Then you hit next. And the second step applies the current correct chat setup. If you're a new user, this step is recommended. If you're an existing user, you may want to skip the step. Click apply to apply the settings next to continue the install process. Just skip this next step. Click, just press next. Uh, you could ignore any of this if you want, but if you want to use the recommended settings, just go ahead and click apply with each step. So just for the sake of this, I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that. I'm going to click apply, and this is the final step where it says uh, installation is complete, and the website is right here where the is where the interface add-on is at. They also host uh, LVY, so if you want to try that too, um, I don't have it. So if you want to learn about LVY, you may want to look to somebody else that uses that add-on. But uh, this is basically how Tuck UI is going to work. And then when you hit complete, it's going to reload the interface. And there you have it. So automatically, it's going to show a bunch of, give you more action bars to use. And uh, I'll give you a quick tour. Uh, let's see. This is also my scatter damage meter. Uh, that's not much there. It gives you an action bar here. This is where I put my mounts, or just my mount uh, button, my special mount button where I can put all my s random, my favorite mounts. And this is your main action bar, and this is the top action bar. Uh, let's see, I believe that is, I forget which action bar that is, but uh, we're just giving you, this is just going to be the basic setup here. So this is where you sh this is how it's supposed to look after you're finished with installation, and then if you want to configure any more settings, you go to, you click uh, you click Escape, you hit Escape, you click on Tuck UI on the menu, and starting off you go to Action Bars. This is where you can show your hot where you want it to show your hot keys. This is what I like to do. I like to have it show my hot keys. So any hot keys that I have set up, it'll start displaying as soon as you hit Apply. And then you go, then there's the metamorphosis bar, which shows you your metamorphosis if you're a warlock, you're playing a demonology warlock. And the enable action bars, which is already green, so when it's red, that means it's not activated. So, yeah. And then here you go, you've got, uh, you got your hide your backdrop, which I disabled the backdrop on action bars. Uh, that, I think that's the back, the tuck UI backdrop, I'm not sure. This is where you show your Shadow Dance bar. That's for Subtlety Rogues. I'm not going to go into a big uh, explanation for that. You got your Warrior Stance bar, which which will show your Warrior Stances over on the over in this area, over on the left here. Then you got your Macro Keys, which will also display the name of the macro on the bar. Like say I have a macro to activate my Blood Fury and my Frostfire Bolt. I'll just name it Frostfire Bolt Fury, and it'll show the name on the Frostfire Bolt icon right here. And then you got your Shapeshift bar, which will show you Shapeshift keys if you're a druid. Next up, you got your auras. You got high debuffs, consolidate auras, animation, enable auras, flash auras, hide buffs, classic timer. So instead of it, so by default, whenever you show, do this, it will, sh let's say, activated Blood Fury, it'll show um, a bar instead of a timer. So if you want it to show a bar and we'll show an actual timer, it'll do that instead of showing that bar running out there. If you can you choose to hide your buffs and stuff like that. Bags. By default bags will look like this whenever you use it. If you don't want it to do that you can turn it off. I turn it I personally turn it off. 
flash new items that's pretty essential so every time if you get too much stuff and you don't check after a while you can and uh, you can check by doing this and every time you get a new item it'll f start flashing in one of the boxes there and bag filter uh, I don't use that like I said I, I turn bags off but you can still have a flash new items for if you wish next we'll go to chat enable chat loop frame whisper sound URL link brackets chat background this is all really good to where you don't need a, this is all pretty good here this is how I have it enabled by default so uh, we'll not worry much about that cooldowns tuck UI outline this is where you give it the different fonts of how the cooldowns look data text like it shows you up here with how much spell power you have or attack power this is what I really like it shows you your current attack power or spell power and uh, it goes up as you know when you get better gear and there's your time if you want to show 24 hour time format it can do that and it shows you the local time instead of the server time so I'm on a different server this is not an east coast server uh, Hygel's not that and then enable battleground uh, not entirely sure what that is oh battleground information okay yeah that's pretty cool and then you can change the data text font okay and then general hide shadows that'll hide the shadows behind the uh, bar if you probably can't tell on the video this video but there's a shadow behind the bar there I turn that off I, I hide the shit uh, you can uh, I personally turn that off I don't like to see the shadows overlapping over the game and then you want to enable auto scale now that now uh, the person that got in contact with me about Tokiwa he said his scale was odd out of whack so what you want to do is make sure that if it's not if it's not checked off already you want to click auto scale so it'll fit to your monitor size and this is where you can manually change a uh, custom UI scale so if you haven't so uh, this goes out to that person I'll just call him fortune if you, this will go out to him if you have an auto selected auto scale you want to do that man so that's for also for everybody else that wants to use this okay and then we'll go to merchant now merchants really good uh, it'll auto sell your grays you can use guild repair so if you're in a guild you can have it use guild repair first instead of auto repair and uh, you know use your own gold and then sell miscellaneous items that's where uh, you have it can automatically sell useless items that are not great quality you also got auto repair and stuff like that and then we'll go to miscellaneous rep reputation bars now your bars are right here there's another way you can get the bar to show up over here but I forgot what it was so uh, I forgot how to set it up that way but basically this is your XP bar and your reputation bar while you're leveling it's gonna be your XP bar you're not gonna bother about your reputation until you hit level cap which is a hundred and then uh, you got your threat bar which is gonna be round here this is where it shows your this is also where it shows your FPS and your uh, latency which is really cool and this also shows your total memory size your that's being taken up in the game by your add-ons and thanks to Tuck UI though I've been able to take a lot out I've been able to take a lot of add-ons out so that that's pretty cool error filtering and they will experience bars yeah that's you know XP bar right there and alt power bar I'm not entirely sure what that is <laughs> derp yeah basically and then we'll go to nameplates enable nameplates so you know Every time you you look at somebody, you'll see their name right here, and then uh, cast bar height, blah blah blah. That's some other custom stuff that you can set up, but I just leave it all by default. That's up to you. That's that's up to you if you want to uh, set it up differently. And then we got party, health text, portrait, enable party frames, show player, and that'll be showing yourself in the party. I don't turn that on. I don't like to see myself in the party. I just like to notice myself right here which by the way this is my main health bar and, and mana bar and all that and let's see we'll go to raid show resurrection icon that shows a little icon next to that well we're not going to explain all that but they show resurrection icon enable red frames R watch R watch timers heal calm health text blah 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 and then we got tool tips display health text specialization item level that's really cool. You can actually hover over somebody, see what specialty, what what the specializations they are, without having to inspect them, and uh, also see what their item level is. And then, lastly, unit frames enable player and target portrait. I have this turned on, so it'll show a 3D portrait. Dark theme that'll turn this into a dark theme instead of seeing this blue here, which signifies that it's a mage that I've got that I've got here. And let's see, combat feedback display my debuffs only. Blah 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 rogue anticipation bar that's pretty cool because since my mains a rogue it'll show the combo points that I accrue from anticipation over on top of my own portrait instead of the combo points that I've just accrued on my target 
uh, and then the totem bar. So the totem bar will show four different colors to representing each elemental totem if you're a shaman, which is really cool. And then after you, and so basically after all of that said and done, there's Blood Fury again <laughs> by accident. After you get all the set, the stuff that you want to have on here, you click apply. It'll reload the UI once more. And after everything's done, there you go. There you have it. There's Tuck UI in a nutshell. And as you can see now, my hotkeys are showing up. And if I have any macros, they would show up too. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically it, guys. If I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something from uh, Tuck UI, from my little Tuck UI tutorial here. And if you're interested, go to tuckui.org for the interface out on itself and for more information about it. So I hope you enjoyed this little little video, and until next time, Storm Chasers.